Hi everyone, welcome back to another tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to automatically upgrade your router software. So there are two softwares that is installed on your router. One, one software which is considered the packages and the other software which um, for the hardware itself is called the firmware. So if we look at, if we go to system, packages, this is a software um, version and uh, if you go to system router board this is the hardware so if you look at the packages um, we are seeing the package list we're seeing all the packages that are installed and the version of these packages so the current version is 6.43 and the router board is the firmware version this is the hardware version so we are seeing where the factory firmware, the current firmware and upgrade firmware. So the reason why the current firmware is not the same as the package version is because in order to upgrade the router board, it is a manual process. So what you usually would have to do is to click this button to say upgrade and that will auto that will now upgrade your router board and after doing that you would have to hit go to system and then go to reboot for the new firmware to be installed but I'm going to show you how to automate all of this so let's go go to system scheduler and I'm going to create a schedule I'm going to call this schedule package upgrade I'm going to set the date and the time so the date is when you want to start this schedule and the time is when you want the schedule to run so I'm going to put a time and the interval is how often you want this schedule to run so usually Microtech, um, Microtech releases firmware I'll say at least several seven days or more so i'll put this at seven days so this is how you put this so you put seven d and this is in hours minutes seconds so you can customize the interval as you need for the policies we're not going to do anything with that we're going to leave the policies as is all right for the script now to upgrade the package and just going to copy and paste the script here and the script is system package update install and this will automatically update and then install the package so i'm going to just adjust the time so i don't want the script start before i'm finished so i'm going to adjust the time on this to apply okay so let me expand the screen so you can see it much better so this is a script and the date when it is supposed to start at interval and the next next run so the time when it, when the script is supposed to be executed the schedule is supposed to be executed all right i'm going to create another um, scheduler and this scheduler is to upgrade the router board so i'm going to call this router board upgrade and the time what I'm going to do now for this because the package has to be upgraded before the router board can be upgraded because it's rely on this this version to be installed before because each update inst updates the package then it updates the router board so this version here will change with each version so what I'm going to do is to set this schedule to run after the, the package update. So I'm going to just make an adjustment here. I don't want this to start just yet. So I'm going to increase the start time to give, it, give us some more time. All right, so for the start time for this, since this is going to start at 7, 13, 13 past 7, so I'll put this as 
about five minutes after what that will do is give the router enough time to download a package install reboot and then your router board um, scheduler will run afterwards and and update the router board so you want to give a certain at um, enough time for the package upgrade to run before so for this for the package upgrade I'm going to set this to uh, this was set to 13 I'll set this to 18 so I'll give it some time about five minutes five minutes more an interval seven days just the same and then for the script this is a script that I have written um, so the script what it does is just check the version that is that the package version and after checking the package version you check the board version and then do a comparison and then if there if if there's a new version it install it then reboot so it apply okay so these are the two script so when when the time for the script to run is reached then you'll see the count increase so for the package upgrade it will automatically start downloading the package and now we have seen the run count increase so it's currently downloading the package so let us wait so if you go to interface you will see some traffic um, some download traffic taking place so it's currently downloading the package so let us wait on on the router to reboot all right so the routers rebooted and the version has changed so now the version was changed from 6.343 to now 6.431 so the router has been upgraded now the next um, thing that will happen is the router board upgrade this will this will occur at 18 pass and the time so the time hasn't reached yet so what I'm going to do is reduce this time so it's closer to the time so you can see the upgrade process so this number has increased although the current version hasn't changed so I'm going to just adjust the time to put it closer to the current time so it's 16 I'll say 30 seconds so this script will now upgrade the router board version so this current version here should change to this so you so the script um, has been as executed so the router has just been rebooted and now the upgraded firmware version is the same as the current version so the script has done both the scripts did two things it upgrades the package so this script or the scheduler using the script upgrades the package version and the other script upgrade upgrades the router board version both schedule all the script in this tutorial will be in the video description so you can use you can actually apply it to your router as is but uh, you will need to change the date um, for the script and the interval to match your date and and time so that is how you that is how you would um, automate the upgrade of your router packages and also your router board firmware so that's it for this tutorial if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed please remember to do so so thanks for watching